this is a wonderful book. This is regarded as the Old Testament for the study of dinosaurs. I have a copy. There's a copy in the museum here. Ecnology of New England, a report of the sandstone of the Connecticut Valley, especially its fossil footprints made to the government of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts by Edward Hitchcock, professor in Amherst College. And a quote from Hugh Miller, the great Scottish fish paleontologist, they are fraught with strange meanings, these footprints of the Connecticut. This is the page, the most important footprint of the most important species, of the most important dinosaur scientist in the history of science. This is Anomoepus, which means uneven feet. It was one of the critters that occasionally would take a squat in the early Jurassic mud and leave the prints of the hands here and the hind foot. And this swelling is the tendon going to the muscles in the lower leg and what Hitchcock observed, 1835-36, is number of pads, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and this is subdivided, one, two, three, four. And sometimes there'll be a little extra one here with just one pad. So the number of bones would be two bones, three bones, four bones, five bones. That is the class Aves. That is a bird, and this is the drumstick of a bird, and it's squatting like a bird. This plate alone, this specimen alone, proves that the early Jurassic was ruled by feathered animals. Now the hand tells you something else. The hand has short fingers, five, one, two, three, four, five. The fat ones, the big ones, being the inner ones. And that's like an alligator or a crocodile hand. And that was recognized by Hitchcock and his, his fellow scientists, proving that these early birds, a subclass of ground-running birds, retained hands designed like a crocodilian, which are the most advanced living reptiles. If you cut into a crocodile, an alligator, it's amazing, their heart and their lungs kind of look like a bird. So wonderful proof here, written in stone, of who ruled the Jurassic.